Uh, not really. I mean, I just have that mindset when I play all the time. I just be aggressive and um, try and score. If not, if that's not there, just try and play make for my teammates. And um, yeah, I, just, I thought I did a good job. Just let the game come to me, and um, I just try to be solid on defense and not even go for the ball. Play any sense of relief? This is your first win against these guys. It must be feel pretty good. What are you thinking? Yeah, it feels really good. Um, 0-4 against them, that didn't feel too good. But um, yeah, it was so much fun coming out here tonight. And it felt even better playing in front of a crowd like that and um, seeing all the support uh, that Cougar Nation gave us. And yeah, it was a great feeling. And uh, we got to carry this momentum into the Oregon schools too. I saw you guys kind of looking up. Some of you guys, as time was ticking down, just the crowd and how crazy they were going. What was that like being on that court for that moment? It was amazing. Um, when. Um, I knew we, uh, we were going to win the game when um, Reggie caught that lob. I just knew we were playing with too much fire. And, and um, yeah, there's no way we are going to let that, let that uh, lead slip away from us. And um, last year we might have, but this year we're a lot mentally tougher. And, um, yeah, it just felt good to, to, just to hold down to that lead down the stretch, even though we, I missed some free throws. But we got the win. Hazel, what was your first <coughs> Rivalry game like. I mean, it seemed like you came out a lot more. Right? Yeah. Um, it was. I mean, it was. It was beautiful. I mean, I loved it out there. Um, I kind of just wanted to do it for the crowd because I know, you know, it'll, they they really wanted this one bad and they support us every day and they go hard. They camp out and we just didn't want to let them down. So that was kind of my mindset. I didn't know a lot about the rivalry. I just, obviously I want to play hard for my team, but you know, just the the crowd was. What we, you know, Did want to do really for. Pick you up after the game? You were on somebody's shoulders. After yeah, the game? it was it's crazy out there. I don't even know where they came from. He's just feeling. You know. Clay, you didn't last year in these two games. You did not shoot the ball. Uh, this time it seemed like you were getting your shots and they were going down for you. What's the difference? I say just. Um, I just think I made a big jump for my. Sophomore, junior year, just working hard in the offseason, taking my game to another level, and um, not being so one dimensional as it was last year. And um, yeah, just being a lot mentally tougher, not uh, having bad body language, and just uh, trying to hunt my shot as much as possible. Is there a feeling with this win that you guys know what you're capable of, but maybe more respect will come your way and people will see what you guys are truly capable of doing? Yeah, I, th I hope so. I mean, we didn't, uh, the first half of the Pac-10 season didn't go exactly how we wanted it. We had some close losses, but we're going to carry this momentum in the second half. And um, we think we, we think we can be the best team in this league. And um, I think we showed that tonight. If we just play together, keep doing that, keep playing tough defense, we're going to be tough to beat. You've used the word tough like five times. Is that the biggest difference with this team? Yeah. And is that what was shown tonight? Yeah. Um, uh, physical toughness and mental toughness, both are um, very important. If we want to be successful, we got to be as tough as we can. So that's the goal then, is still to try and catch these guys? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think I said it before, I think we have a chance to run the table. I mean, it's going to be it's going to be tough, but that's what we want to do. And it's going to be tough getting those wins on the road, but we think we can. and. Um, we gonna, we just gonna try and make a lot of noise in the second half of the Pac-10 season. They made a lot of noise about uh, Pullman uh, in the week leading up to it out of Seattle. You got anything to say to them about about the city of Pullman and the area? You guys getting the win tonight? Yeah, this is a special place because I mean you don't get a crowd like that in a lot of cities, and um, when uh, you're the main attraction in the in the town, um, it's pretty special. And um, yeah, when we got support like that. We got a crowd like that. We're hard to beat, and um, we went, won it for them. We won it for Cougar Nation, and uh, it was just, yeah, it just felt good to beat them because they were talking a lot this last week, and we just want to stay humble and keep doing what we're doing. Well, you guys got 24 points off the bench tonight. Faisal had most of them, but contributions from a bunch of different guys. Can you talk to how, how that may have been the difference for you guys? Yeah, it probably was the main difference. Um, I know with D'Angelo in foul trouble, Charlie had to step up a lot, and um, Charlie did a great job uh, playing his role. He played great defense, hustled, and um, got a lot of loose balls, and uh, that's what we need out of him. 
And um, if we want to be good and make a run in uh, late March, we got to have a, a deep bench and a balanced team. Any more questions for those two? Yeah, just talk about Reggie and how big he stepped up. Like yeah, Reggie uh, stepped up big time. He, uh, that was probably the best I've seen him play all year. Um, he's just so aggressive with the ball in his hands. And at the same time, he's a great passer. So we need to do that. We need him to just keep that mindset. And if he does that, we're hard to beat because he finds us a lot and uh, sets up us. And um, we got a great perimeter with uh, me, Faisal, and Marcus, and Reggie. So pretty balanced. And you can't just stop one of us because you're going to have two or three other guys who are going to come up and step up. Thank you.